How's it going you misfits and welcome back to another video in the epic build series. Now a lot of you suggested, hey Curtis why don't you use warehouse materials to build a tower? So I did it and I hope you like it. I had one problem with it with the clock which I'll show you soon but before we get into all of that uh, I do have a Twitter account and I do stream on Twitch uh, some Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and some other cool games so if you've got either of those and you'd like to follow me that'd be awesome. The links are in the description of course and yeah this tower all, all warehouse stuff, no no mods, no nothing like that. Pretty pretty quick to build, pretty easy, but look, this is the clock. I tried to use console commands to make the clock bigger from decorations. Didn't work, didn't work at all. So we had to use neon lights. So the foundations I did was six by eight. And uh, what you need to do is you need to build two, or, well, you need to build them sort of side by side. But what you do here basically is build a, a little archway, a little walkway to where you're going to put the other part of the building. This way you get the perfect dimension so everything will line up. You don't want to do any of this freehand. And once you're done with that, just get rid of them. And that's nice and simple. Now, obviously, you can go bigger if you want with the foundations, longer, whatever, higher, you know. It's your, your call. I'm just showing you the template as always. But yeah, no mods were used to make this. And one thing I didn't do in this is build any rooms or a doorway into the building. Because of how long this video is, I felt that it warranted uh, an, an entirely video of its own. A video entirely of its own. And I'm going to do that with my first epic tower as well. I've almost almost done with the inside completing it and once it is done again I'll do another video and show you it completed basically so I don't I don't want to make like a half an hour video I don't want to bore you guys that much so like I said I think they warrant a separate video but yeah this is just like the first video it's gonna be a little bit repetitive in the sense of pretty much you just build up you know floors down walls up floors down walls up and you go to as high as you want you know as comfortable as you want basically uh, obviously th there is a mod that I do use uh, build high and there's mods for the consoles as well they're called different variants like uh, settlement borders expanded and build high over 9000 again the links will be in the description for all you console players out there I wouldn't ever do a build that can't be done on console. I'm not like that. I, I I like to, you know, do it for everyone. I'm an everyone kind of guy. And this this is going to be the entrance. The only thing I did differently here is I used a small flooring walkway because you know what I'm like for my entrances. I like big grand promenade, open plan sort of rooms. So that's that. And back to building walls. It's, it's very repetitive these these sorts of builds you know all you, you got to do basically is just build up till to you know till you want really and go to the bloody sky it's up to you go to the moon but i wouldn't do that you know it does get laggy the higher you get you got to be careful go within your limits so now that we're up here what we're gonna do is kind of finish off uh the build well the, the bottom half of the building so what it is going to look like is something like this so that's that's pretty high. I mean, you can go higher if you want. It's again completely up to you. And another thing that I did do as well is uh, before I well when I do the complete video uh, with all the stuff inside rooms and stuff, I want to add like a bar to one of the towers. So I'm going to use this basically. Um, it's the the wall with glass in, so it's got windows. And all that does really is uh, you know so it lets the light in for the bar and stuff. You don't have to have that. You can have it completely concealed, no windows at all. You know, call it a vault tech experiment. It's up to you. Sure, cool. So with the roof, you're gonna get an issue, right? And it took me a while to figure this out, and this this is going back a while back now. But you can't snap anything to warehouse roofs, right? Like no floor, no wall, no floor from wood, no floor from metal, no floor from warehouse. Like nothing will snap to it apart from warehouse roof. And I was so stuck for ages. I was like, how am I gonna build on this? because nothing snaps right so what you well not what you had to do what I did back in the day before I figured it out was and I'll show you this in a minute on the video but I I basically lined up flooring on top of the the flat roof see because again nothing snaps to it nothing snaps to it at all okay so you got to use the flat roof right but if nothing snap into it how can you build higher like it, it's almost as if once you build the roof of a warehouse, that's it, you're done. You can't go any higher, it won't go up. So I used to do this back in the day, and I don't know if some of you still do. 
and it's annoying, right? You have to line it up like this, and you got to get it all perfect. And sometimes it does work. If you line it up perfect, you can get it to work. Like, you know, it's, it's not it's not an issue. Well, it is an issue, but it's more of an annoyance. So you got to sit there for ages, you know, scrap or not scrapping it, storing it in your workbench, putting it back down, lining it up. Because if you line it up, like, even the slightest bit wrong, which I'll show you now, it will start hanging off the edges, and it's just such a pain. See, it's, it's already hanging off, right? So, I've actually found a way to fix this, and I found this ages ago, and I wish I shared it with you guys ages ago. And it's, it's, it's a cool little trick, right? So, again, if you line it up perfectly, that looks fine, right? But, there is a prefab in the warehouse section. It's a prefab, and it is a roof and a wall built into one, right? Never noticed this before. I mean, obviously, a while back I'd noticed it, but I never noticed it before. It took me ages. And look at that. Flooring snaps to it instantly. I didn't even realise this. And like I said, I found out about it a while back, but it took me weeks before I even realised it when I was building warehouses. And I was just like, how did I miss this? How did I not see this before? It's always in the most obvious like place. And I was trying to look for mods for this as well. And it was just sat right there, right in front of me the whole time. So get rid of all this crap, you don't need it. I was actually going to do this earlier to illustrate that you could line it up and it could still look good. But now there's no need to. You just don't need to anymore. So you can put the wall, they'll just snap, uh, the wall will just snap straight to that wall. Obviously the prefab, you can delete it. I, I don't want to keep it because it only comes with the, the windowed wall variant. If it comes with normal wall variant, I'd probably just keep it in. But it, it doesn't. So you just delete it and look at that. Roof snaps to it. Job done. Bob's your uncle. Bang. Done. And how simple is that? And I didn't even realise it. Didn't even see it. I, f I felt like such an idiot. I was just like, really? It's been here the whole time. <laughs> so now you can build higher with warehouse stuff. You don't have to be limited to the roof anymore. So that's what it's looking like so far. We're getting there. We're getting there. But we need to work on the archway. And this is where the fun begins. You're going to have to get a few walls down as, as backups. The floors don't snap. The, the archway walls don't snap to each other. They start curving off and they only snap to normal walls in a certain way. It's so fiddly and annoying. But once you get the, the, the kinks of it, you know, you, you, you know what to do then. And it becomes so much easier. When I was trying to work this out at the start, though, it was so bloody annoying. It took me, not ages, but it took me a while because things weren't snapping properly. And like I said, it's so finicky and fiddly. But once once you watch this, you're going to know what to do. It's, it's not a problem. So they'll only the archway walls will only snap to normal walls from behind. They won't snap to the front. I don't know why, but Bethesda, please. So let's go to the, the archway walls. Perfect snapping, but it won't snap side by side with the other one. See, it will just start going off in a corner. So this is when it's, well, for me, this is when it started getting fiddly. I was like, how am I going to do this? Like, I'm going to have to move walls around. I'm going to have to keep moving flooring. I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do that. And then I worked out a, a, a lot of an easier way, basically. And if you're wondering, because roofs do not snap to walls underneath, I'll show you how to do that in a bit. That will be coming later on. But you don't need to worry. They will snap to it, so it's, it's not an issue. You won't have uh, an archway with, that you can see right through, because I, I don't build like that. It's all about realism with me, as you should know. So you can cover it up with the wall, so you're not going to have any issues there. So you, you're not going to have any clipping issues, but they will snap on top of each other. Okay? I got by five with my archway. They're three along in total, and I got by five. So, let's get to it. Build some walls out. I built a stairway up and some walls out because we, we're going to need to start building out. And you don't want to fall down and you don't want to be floating or using console commands to float to do that. So, as you can see, it's not snapping, right? So, there's two ways to do this. You can build the wall and floor down next to it, just like how we started it. You know, the wall's got to be facing backwards for it to snap. And there is also another way to do it. Under walls, there is a sort of triangle with wood on it. I can't remember what it's called. It's called like sloped wall or something. But we, you'll see it in a minute anyways. You put that down underneath and then it will connect to the side. The, the archway sort of sloped roofing will connect to the side or wall, not roofing. And then you can build above it because they will stack on top of each other. So this is the first way. 
if it will snap. There you go. So that's the first way to do it, right? However, the better way and the non-long-winded way, in my opinion, will be the one with the, the triangle, the triangle walls. And this is also how you get roofs to snap underneath. So if we go to it now. See, look, the roofing won't snap, right? However, go to the triangle walls. Yeah, it's just called wall. I don't know, no, don't know what it is. Put them underneath. Roofs will snap to it. And to the side of it, the normal, the normal sloped roofing will snap to it as well. So you do that and then you can, because they stack on top of each other, you can build out. But look, ta-da! Problem solved. This is the easiest way. Easiest way. Honestly, don't do it the first way I showed you because it's so long-winded and you got to build out, build. And... No, can't can't be bothered. Don't don't bother with that. And there's only one problem with this though. The roof does kind of come through the bottom of the floor, but you, you're not going to care about that, are you? Really, just turn this room into a. a bedroom or something so keep building up until you're happy pretty much you know walls floors you know the drill and this is what it could look like i didn't like the top of the roof i was like nah i need it a bit bigger i, I it, it felt too short basically so we put the roof cupola on and there you go that's what it looks like and now all you gotta do is do the opposite side exactly how you've done that or you can do it completely different you could have them two different sizes if you want it's completely up to you this is just a template like i said and obviously because we still got those i've left a gap there to get rid of the triangle parts because you can delete them but here you go look as i can show you now the triangle bit of wall will let these walls snap to it nice and easy so that's what you got to do and then just connect the archway put the roof on job done and just get rid of all the gaps what i would do is um take a bit of wall out put pop it to the side stick your head out get rid of the triangle walling underneath because you don't want them obviously because it doesn't look nice does it it will look off at the start as well like it won't look like they line up properly but i can, I can assure you they do don't, don't worry about it unless you've done it wrong like i just had there for god's sake right move these down yeah, I can reach that. And then just build some stairs so you can put the roofing in without falling down to your death. So you can get rid of those, get rid of the triangles, pop the roofing on. And it's done. That's it. One completed archway. And this is why at the start with the foundations, you need to... You built the, the foundations going to the other building. So you got the absolute 100% precise, accurate... Uh, dimensions and length and, and all that kind of stuff so it will snap together there won't be any gaps or whatnot and that's what it's gonna look like guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you liked it I hope you like the building I've got tons more epic buildings coming your way soon I'm actually gonna build a proper mega warehouse that pr produces you know uh, resources for your settlement so something that will actually be very beneficial and not just look pretty I'm also building a hospital, a massive hospital that produces nothing beneficial for the settlement, but it bloody looks good. And I've got some others, but I'm not telling you about that. Obviously, ARC videos are coming as well. And I was also thinking about doing some Player Unknown Battleground videos, but you can also catch me out on my stream with that. I do announce on Twitter and my Facebook when I'm live streaming or when a video goes out. So again, if you do have Twitter and stuff, be sure to follow me. And obviously, if you've got Twitch as well, I do live stream. I haven't live streamed in about a week and a half, but obviously, if you follow me, when I go live, you'll be announced. You'll be able to come hang out, chat with me, say hello, watch me play some Player Unknown Battlegrounds or whatever I'm doing. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm always open to criticism. If you liked it, leave a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and obviously hit the bell so you get notifications of when my videos go up because I've had people comment in on my previous videos. Oh, wow, Curse is back. I haven't seen a video from you in ages. And I was like, I've literally done a video for the past six days. But hey. That's YouTube for you, right? So, catch you on the next one, guys. Peace!